Hi, this video tutorial I will cover life cycle of a thread. Life cycle of the thread is controlled by JVM. Here you can see the thread states new, runnable, running, non runnable or blocked, and terminated. The thread is in new state if we create an instance of the thread class, but before invocation of start method. The thread is in runnable state after the invocation of the start method, but the thread scheduler has not selected the thread to be the running thread. If the thread scheduler selected the thread, then the thread will be in running state. From running state, the thread can go to the terminated state. If run method exit. From running state, the thread can go to the non-runnable state or blocked state. In this state, the thread is still alive but not eligible to run. Here you can see the reasons for running thread become non-runnable. Sleep, block on IO, wait for lock, suspend and wait. From non-runnable state, the thread can go to runnable state. Here you can see the reasons for non-runnable thread become runnable thread. Sleep done, IO complete, lock available, resume and notify. From new state, thread can go to runnable state. From runnable state, thread can go to running state. From running state, thread can go to terminated state. From running state, thread can go to non-runnable state. From non-runnable state, thread can go to runnable state. And uh, this is about uh, life cycle of a thread. And uh, thanks for watching.